Hey everyone, we're in the UN hallways right now and I'm on my way to a really interesting conversation. I'm going to meet Malcolm Brogdon, who is an NBA player and he plays for the Boston Celtics. What's really cool about Malcolm is that he has his own foundation, the Brogdon Family Foundation. So I'm really curious to hear more and I'd say let's join along to find out. Well, everyone, we're here with our special guest, Malcolm Brogdon. Malcolm, it's super exciting to, to meet you and to speak to you. Can you tell us a little bit more about what it is that you do through Hoops of hum for Humanity? Uh, we build clean water wells. Uh, We've impacted uh, a little bit more than 50,000 people. Hey, and Malcolm, you were an NBA player, you're a basketball player. What made you get into the world of water and work on this? Uh, I've been traveling to Africa since I was a little kid with my family. But at that point, I didn't know how I wanted to impact uh, the, the poverty, how I wanted to impact people that were impoverished. Um, and then as I got older, as I went through school, um, I started to learn about the clean water crisis and, and understand that that impacts everybody. So I wanted to become a part of it and that's why I really dove in once I got into the NBA. Do you feel a sort of responsibility to use your position to raise awareness on water or how, how does that uh, feel for you? As long as you have uh, people listening, as long as you have people following what you're doing um, every day, I think it's important to share that, especially if it can impact other people. It's important to shed light on the things that you care about. And it's easy to forget that you know there's so many other people out there that, that don't have what you have. and um, you can really use your blessings to bless other people. Can you maybe uh, yeah, give me um, some examples or do you have a story on how uh, you guys through the Brogdon Family Foundation have been able to impact lives around the world? Absolutely. Uh, well, I, you know, they, they commonly say that, especially in East Africa, water is life. Um, the, the times that I've traveled to East Africa to, Tenya, to Kenya and Tanzania, um, you travel to these communities and you see really the women and the children that are traveling to uh, get the water, sometimes it takes them days. They travel kilometers to get water and bring it back to their community. Um, it impacts their education, it impacts, and once they don't have a good education, they can't have a good job, and it's sort of a, a, a cyclical process, um, and it's an unhealthy cycle. And I think water is one of the main things in life, the necessities that can break that process. What is your hope for this conference specifically? For me, I'm, I'm here to soak up as much information as I can, um, take away solutions, make connections, um, so at the end of the day, I can raise money, um, I can impact more people, um, and just, you know, better the world as, as I think everybody here is trying to do. Thank you so much and uh, keep on doing the good work. Thank you so much, Malcolm. Okay, best of luck.